uh, June 2012, Core 2, question 6. Um, it's our differentiation question, but it's presented a little bit different to normal that we've actually been given what dy by dx is already. Um, so we haven't got to do any differentiating to start with. It just says verify that dy by dx equals 0 when x is 2. Let's just stick the 2 into the formula. 3 lots of 2 squared minus 4 over 2 squared minus 11. Um, that's 2 squared is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 4 divided by 4 is 1. don't know why I wrote 4 there. Um, take away 11 again equals 0. Um, therefore, dy by dx equals 0, I suppose. Um, just one mark for that. But a bit more work now. Now, differentiate it again. Differentiate it again. Staring at this, I know that's going to be a core 1 differential. I know that one's going to be OK, but clearly got an issue here to think about. And we're going to need to rewrite it first of all. But dy by dx, we've got, this is the one we've got already, is 3x squared. This here is minus 4x to the power of minus 2. The x is on the bottom, so it's a minus 2 here. Take away 11. Look, I've not done any work yet. I've just rewritten the question. Now I can find out what dy by d, d2y by dx squared is. Times by the power, and the power goes down by 1. Times by the power, and the power goes down from minus 2 down to minus 3. This one here, the 11, just disappears. Um, and it says, find out the value of this when x is equal to 2. So at x equals 2, d2y by dx squared is 6 times 2 plus 8 times 2 to the power. Well, that, that's 1 eighth, that is. 8 times 1 eighth. So I think we've got an answer there of 13. So what? what does 13 tell you? 13 tells you that it's going to be a, a minimum point. Therefore, Minimum y, write down y again, minimum since d2y by dx squared is greater than zero. That's the reason for it. Give the reason for your answer, there's our reason there. Well, we've done all that work and now we said find the equation of a curve. And I have to ask you sort of how do equations normally look like? Um, most equations I know start y equals blah, 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 blah. So we've somehow got to go from dy by dx up here, dy by dx here, from the differential back to the y. And of course, that's where the integrating comes in. So we've got to integrate this thing. y equals the integral of 3x squared minus 4x to the power of minus 2 minus 11 with respect to x. Um, rolling down. Um, integrating this and this time the power goes up by 1. So the power goes up to x to the power of 3. We're going to divide by 3 as well, so those 3's cancel. x to the power of minus 2 goes up to minus 1. We're going to divide by minus 1 as well, so it becomes a plus. 11 is going to go to 11x. But don't forget your plus c on the end. So there's our y equals. So because we actually knew a point, we knew that at x equals 2, y had to equal 1 as well. So we can put these numbers in and we can actually figure out what c is going to be. Um, it 1, taking that all into the other side, I hope you can cope with that yourself, gives y is, c is 13. And so the answer, what is the equation of the curve? It's this thing here, but instead of a c on the end, we've got a plus 13 on the end. Um, lot, examiner said a lot of people didn't know what to do there or even how to start it. So that's what you do. To get y, you integrate dy dx. Uh, here's the mark scheme. Make sure it does say you had to show that line there. You couldn't just say equals zero. Had to do some working there. Here's the reason it, it's bigger than zero, so it's a minimum. Here's the integrating and the finding of the c. Examiner's report for that one as well. A lot of people mucking that up, that moment where you had to change it to minus 4x to the power of minus 2. Uh, 